Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. So we're going to tackle um, <clears throat> these files. Okay, if you have ever uh, imported any Adobe Illustrator made files or any like Photoshop files, this is exactly what they look like. And you may think that these are totally unusable to us, but if you've been on my group page, you will see that I have turned these files into totally usable cut files. Um, I did contact the seller of these um, because they uh, weren't aware that this is what they actually look like. So I contacted him and asked him if he could contact the maker and maybe ask him if they could um, change how they are actually assembled. So instead of having the actual Adobe uh, SVGs, if we could have them rendered down into single uh, cut Okay, so he said that yes, he would try to do that for us. But until then, let's go through here and let's pull these apart and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so let's come here and let's start changing colors because we need to be able, oops, we need to be able to see these things. Okay, so let's lay down some colors so we can actually see where we're at. All right, so there's those colors. Oh, let's bring this out. I don't want all of that there. So let's try another ungroup. If you just want that, then leave that there. See, all of these little layers, that is totally and completely normal for all Adobe made files. Now, if you want these little guys, why they're separate, do a path union. And all of those layers, if there are any more of them, those will all union together. Now, if you want to put them over here, do it. I don't want them in there. So I'll go ahead and delete them. Okay, so now let's put this little guy. So now we have to start working on these, okay? Let's come over here, object, ungroup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and if I want to sneak in and try to grab these little dots, okay, watch when I grab a hold of this. Okay, good. It has grabbed just the one little leaf and the dots. Well, as that's highlighted, I'm going to come and I'm going to path union it. Let it work for a little bit. Okay, so there is a path union. Now, anytime I click on it, it's all of those together. Okay, so I'm going to come back in here and highlight all of that. And I'm going to delete. And if you ever wonder where, if there's any others lurking around, just do that. You can do whatever you want to do with things like this, okay? All right, so now I need to grab this part. Oops, I forgot. I need to group it. And sure, nobody wants to have to do all of this work, but if you want to use this file, this is exactly how you can break it apart to use it. And I'm just going to let this float around there. Good. Looks like I've gotten everything. Yep. Path union. And that one's ready to go. Delete. I can check my preview to see if there's any floating around. No, there's not. Okay, so now this little guy, and I can do a path union on that. Okay, actually, oops. Oh, 
And every, I shouldn't say every, but most, every single Adobe Illustrator file that I have used has looked like this. Some of the EPS files have looked like this, okay? So it's not just these files. They seem to be made in layers, okay? I don't know. Um, because I don't use that uh, program a lot, um, probably have to ask somebody that does to see if that's something that's just common or if it's only with uh, how the SVGs are saved. Because I do know when I'm in that program and I do save uh, my SVGs, it talks about like layers and things like that. Let's check our preview. Good, we got them all. Okay, so here's our little tree. Oops, I better put it down here because my leaves are going to stick out all over the place. One leaf. Down here. Oops, of course they go to the back. Nothing ever stays where it's supposed to. Oops. Okay, let's just arrange right to the left. There we go. Okay, so there's the tree. Now it's a fully made, fully cuttable file. Okay. Um, so if you want all the circles, I personally wouldn't. I would just go ahead and make my own leaves and do it that way. <clears throat> I don't like the way this one looks, though. This leaf. So I would probably just go ahead and make my own leaves. And this little guy, you would do the exact same thing. So you're going to come in here, ungroup him. This. Okay. We're going to close the path. Do a path union, and that puts everything together. Object, ungroup. I don't think I captured it. Nope, just captured one of the little dots. Got everything together. And then we can use. See, there's a little part down here. If I didn't want, either I could go back and redo it, or I just take the eraser and knock it out. His head. Pull that down. Close path. Fills his head in. Oh. Face down. 
Now this year, object ungroup. This is the one right here. So oh, we need this. We have. And remember, before you go saving anything or shooting out of here, always go check your preview so you make sure you're not leaving anything behind. Because you have an errant cut pile, cut piece left, and uh, the machine's going to catch it, and you can end up ruining your entire design. Mm, come on. And let's go see what we've got. But truthfully, I don't, I would never want the dots. <clears throat> but if you do, that's how you go about capturing them on there. And you could do a back minus front so that they stay right where they need to be. And there is your perfectly usable cut file. <clears throat> Using sure cuts a lot, and it didn't take me very long to do both of those um, fully. But um, let me try to see if I can pull this one out here. Let's see if I can close my eyes. Nope, I can't already. Break apart. There is a bunch of layers on this one. So with this one, I just go grab one of my shapes and make my own. Or if you don't want to do all of this stuff, grab one of these. Object, duplicate. Make a whole bunch of them. And there you have all kinds of little leaves done really easy and quickly. Okay. So, okay. Let's get on in there. But when you work with these files, I mean, you can pretty much fix any of them. And if you can't get what you want from the actual file, um, or if you're looking for something different, like you want these solidly filled, and I think maybe if I grab this one, let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's right up there a little bit. But um, just go grab the basic shapes. Throw them together, okay? But this will give you what you want. Separate all these out into the colored areas that you want, you know, to cut. So separate this. This will be your dark blues or whatever color you want. Um, this will be your lights. You can union this onto the face if you want to or if you want that in a different color. Your eyes you can make bigger if you need to. Same with the mouth. Or you can just set that as a draw file and have that drawn on. This you can union Set that. Oh, what do we got? So 
that'll now be drawn. So this will be a draw file. And then these will all be cut files. There. Okay. And I'm not going to save this because I'm not going to use this right now. But that's how you go about doing it. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can just come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Okay, guys? Thanks a lot.